Meta has just dropped a bombshell in the AI world with their groundbreaking open source language model, Llama 2, causing a stir that's hard to ignore. Is it truly the reigning champ surpassing even ChatGPT? What makes Llama 2 special? In what ways could Llama 2 possibly be better than ChatGPT? In this video, we'll provide you with all the essential information about Llama 2. We'll delve into the research paper that underpins it, examine why it could potentially outshine GPT 3.5 and 4, and explore the reasons behind the significant excitement it's generating in the AI community. Let's dive right in. What exactly is Llama 2? Llama 2 is Meta's open source large language model. Code Llama, an AI division of Meta, the parent company of Facebook, has created a suite of large language models, or LLMs. These LLMs, which range in scale from 7 to 70 billion parameters, have undergone both pre-training and fine-tuning. Notably, Code Llama's models are specifically optimized for tasks related to coding and programming. According to Meta AI, Llama 2 chat LLMs outperform open source chat models on the majority of benchmarks they examine and are optimized for dialogue use cases such as assistant-like chat or can be customized for a range of natural language generation workloads. Llama 2 may even be a good replacement for closed source models based on Meta's human assessments of its helpfulness and safety. Some even claim that Llama 2 is Meta's reaction to Google's AI models like Palm 2 and OpenAI's ChatGPT models. However, a noteworthy distinction sets Llama 2 apart. It is freely accessible for both research and commercial applications, making it an exceptional resource. Transitioning to its scientific core, let's uncover the innovation within Llama 2. Llama 2 is an enhanced version of the original Llama model, taking inspiration from both Google AI models and GPT models. It incorporates techniques like RMS Norm for improved data handling, Swiglu for smarter information processing, and draws inspiration from GPT Neo with its rotary positional embeddings. Additionally, it uses a smarter optimizer called Atom W during its training process. One of its significant changes from the original Llama is its ability to understand longer pieces of text and process information more efficiently. Before we explore the distinctions between Llama 2 and OpenAI's GPT, we'd love your support. Please consider clicking the subscribe button to become an integral part of our community. You might be curious about what sets Llama 2 apart and why it's significant. Well, unlike many other LLMs such as OpenAI's GPT-3 and GPT-4, Google's Palm and Palm 2, which are all closed source, Llama 2 is open source. With closed source models, Users can access them through official APIs and prompt them for personalized responses, but they can't peek under the hood or understand their inner workings. Llama 2, on the other hand, takes a different approach. You can access a detailed research article that provides insights into how the model was constructed and trained. If you have the technical expertise, you can even download the model and run it on your own computer or examine its source code. It's important to highlight that even the smallest version carries significant weight, with a size exceeding 13 gigabytes. Moreover, with platforms like Hugging Face, you can easily deploy Llama 2 on cloud services like Microsoft Azure and Amazon Web Services. You can even train it with your own data to generate specific types of text. Just remember to follow Meta's guidance on responsible usage when working with Llama 2. Meta's remarkable transparency with Llama 2 significantly simplifies the process for other businesses to create AI-powered solutions while retaining greater control over their projects. This means companies can freely use Llama 2 to develop their chatbots, benefiting from a non-exclusive, non-transferable, and royalty-free limited license. However, it's important to note that businesses with more than 700 million monthly users need to seek special approval to use Llama. AI stands as one of the most significant developments in computing over the past seven decades, rooted in open research and testing. While Google and OpenAI remain competitors, they cannot replicate the economic dominance or client lock-in seen in Google's search and advertising. Llama's public release guarantees that closed-source AIs will consistently face a formidable competitor. To understand how Llama 2 operates, let's delve into its training process. 
Llama 2 trained its neural network using a massive data set consisting of 2 trillion tokens extracted from publicly available sources, including Wikipedia, Common Crawl, which is a repository of billions of web pages, and Project Gutenberg's collection of public domain novels. In this context, a token represents a word or a semantic fragment that enables the model to interpret text and make logical predictions. For instance, if the words Apple and iPhone are used together frequently, the model can tell that the two ideas are related and distinct from the context of apple, banana, and fruit. Naturally, training an AI model using publicly available datasets can lead to bias and other abhorrent content, so the developers also use additional training techniques, such as reinforcement learning with human feedback, or RLHF, to optimize the model for useful and safe responses. To direct the AI model towards producing more appropriate outputs, RLHF uses human testers to rank various responses from the model. Additionally, particular data was used to improve the chat version's ability to respond to conversations naturally. Well, these models are only meant to be used as a solid foundation. You can make Llama 2 create article summaries in your business's style by training it with just a few samples. Similarly, for customer support, Giving the chat models your FAQs and chat history helps them handle inquiries better, making them more useful to you. These models are like versatile tools that can be customized to match your unique needs and brand. Now, let's address your thoughts on Llama 2 and ChatGPT. Which one do you think comes out on top? Before we make any hasty judgments about Llama 2 being better than ChatGPT, let's consider some important factors. First and foremost, both ChatGPT and Llama 2 are LLMs designed to generate text that resembles human language. However, there are notable differences between them. Llama 2 is an open source model, readily available for free download and use in both academic and commercial contexts. In contrast, the usage of ChatGPT may incur costs since it is a closed product, accessible primarily through an API provided by OpenAI. Llama 2 has consistently delivered superior performance, standing out in benchmark studies that compare different language models. It frequently outshines ChatGPT in terms of prompt usefulness, underlining its ability to generate accurate and relevant responses. What sets Llama 2 apart is its strong emphasis on safety, a remarkable advantage. It has undergone rigorous testing and fine-tuning to ensure its responses align with human preferences and safeguard sensitive information. In fact, when compared to ChatGPT, Llama 2 offers a higher level of safety. Llama 2 also flaunts a more extensive knowledge repository. Having a cutoff date in September 2022, Llama 2 possesses an extra year's worth of data compared to ChatGPT, rendering its responses more up-to-date and relevant. When you're looking for more recent information, your best bet is Llama 2. While ChatGPT is your user-friendly companion, Llama 2 excels in delivering the fresher insights. Llama 2 shines once again when it comes to accessibility. As an open-source model, Llama 2 is available for free download and customization, empowering developers and researchers to adapt and utilize the AI model according to their specific needs. Its flexibility and independence make Llama 2 a valuable tool for those aiming to create their own chatbots or language models. It stands as an open-source model accessible for both academic and business pursuits, demonstrating superior performance in benchmark tests. Llama 2 is an excellent choice for individuals looking to leverage language models due to its strong commitment to security, expansive knowledge base, and ease of access. However, is OpenAI's supremacy facing a challenge? Meta's recent partnership with Microsoft has the potential to reshape the landscape as the integration of Llama 2 with Azure Cloud Services signifies a transformation in the AI market, placing conventional competitors such as OpenAI's ChatGPT on the defensive. To effectively challenge OpenAI's market dominance, particularly with its ChatGPT models, Meta recognizes the importance of providing a robust, open-source platform. Llama 2's open-source nature and free access for both educational and commercial purposes mark a notable advancement from its predecessor and gives it an edge over OpenAI's GPT models. This decision is underpinned by a twofold objective, to foster innovation and to empower developers to actively contribute to the model's enhancement. 
Llama 2 also offers companies the flexibility to build and tailor AI solutions precisely to their needs. In essence, this strategic shift not only signifies a commitment to fostering a more inclusive AI ecosystem, but also positions Meta to compete more vigorously with established industry leaders, potentially reshaping the landscape in favor of open source AI development. Zuckerberg himself assures us that this new model will be notably more powerful and effective than its predecessor, Llama 1. Meta's approach to this improvement includes several significant enhancements. For instance, the pre-trained models in Llama 2 were crafted using a colossal dataset, a remarkable 40% larger than what fueled Llama 1. Furthermore, the context length has been doubled, growing from 1 trillion tokens in Llama 1 to an impressive 2 trillion tokens in Llama 2. To elevate the quality of the model's responses, over a million human annotations were meticulously incorporated. In benchmark tests provided by Meta, Llama 2 outperforms its predecessor, especially in terms of safety and transparency. To mitigate biases and foster responsible AI practices, the model has undergone extensive rounds of rigorous testing and fine-tuning. Meta's overarching aim is to mitigate potential risks in generative AI models by actively engaging user feedback, employing supervised fine-tuning and implementing reinforcement learning techniques. This comprehensive approach underscores their commitment to ensuring that AI is developed and deployed in a manner that prioritizes ethical and responsible practices. What are your thoughts about Llama 2? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more captivating AI breakthroughs. Thanks for watching.